life is the ability to grow. Your tastes change, and there's no doubts that you have made some mistakes. If you want some evidence of that, go back and look at your high school yearbook photo. It's pretty cringeworthy. Most of them are. Well, there's no different for cars. There is no doubt that if you look at your modification history, you've made some mistakes along the way. We're gonna talk about some of the mistakes you made and some of the mistakes that I've made and give you some of the top ones that you shouldn't make. So let's kind of get into this. Now don't get me wrong, it's not that that 92 Camry didn't look cool with the big wing, clear tail lights, the one windshield wiper that adorned the windshield because you didn't need to have that extra one there, got rid of some weight. And on top of that, don't forget the Fast and Furious decal roll call that went down the door. It all looked really great for the time, but does it look good today? What is going on? I'm Scott from Koenig. Today we're gonna to be talking about some of the mistakes that you make when you modify your car, especially if you've been doing this for a while. There are some things that I have done, self-admittedly, along the way with some of my different builds that I really have regretted. So let's talk about some of the obvious ones that are still around today, and that's the big wing thing. Now listen, there's no doubt that we enjoy a good, the big wang gang just like anybody else, but there's sometimes like that Elantra may not need all that aero and that super high wing to make sure it's on clean air. Uh, there's just some things that look a little ridiculous. If you have a chassis mounted wing on a car that has, you know, 120 horsepower and is never gonna go to the track, oh. just rethink maybe whether that oh belongs on your car. Now, if that's for you, we're not here to discourage, but we're just saying you may wanna just give it another glance and make sure you uh, have thought it through. So another thing that people do, or at least had done, or probably still do, is get rid of things that they don't need unnecessarily. Where's the spare tire? I don't know. We all understand that there's weight savings that can take place, and obviously if you get to a certain weight savings, you're gonna increase the power to weight ratio, which makes your car faster. But do you need that to go to the mall? Maybe not. So let's talk about the fact that getting rid of all of your interior in the car right off the bat just because, well, it makes the car lighter or feel more like a race car, probably not a good look. I've done this before in my earlier years. It's really cool for like the first 20 minutes, and then after that, you can hear every little pebble that hits the car. The resonance of your exhaust is intolerable. And all of a sudden, your girlfriend doesn't want to ride with you anymore. See, these are problems. If you're gonna have a dedicated race car, I get it. Take that stuff out, you don't need it. It's not there. If you're gonna like go to the track once in a while, you may want to explore keeping that air conditioning and power steering. They're modern creature comforts, but there's a reason that people wanted those things added to their car. So, you know, be careful what you're deleting you may find some more value just keeping them. So one of the worst personal experiences that I have done to a car that I wanted to drive on the street was to put a roll cage in. Now, I will say that the car was fast, and I will share with you that I did have functional reasons for putting the cage in. But after I did that, I really didn't enjoy driving the car anymore. So there is definitely a trade-off between a really fast street car that you're gonna love and enjoy to drive and be able to beat up some on some people uh, and a car that you're maybe gonna turn into a dedicated track car. You gotta kind of explore the balance on both. But I will tell you that putting that roll cage in, as soon as I had to climb over a door bar every time or wor worry about when I wasn't wearing a racing helmet, smacking my head on the halo or something like that, these are things that kind of deter you from wanting to drive your car. It just becomes hard and, and full with effort. And all of a sudden, when you want to go to the mall and open up the door and you can't open up the door wide enough because there's a car there to be able to get your fat tushy over the door bar. Now, maybe some of you a lot thinner can make sure this magic happens. I was not. So it always became a problem trying to get out of the car. So anyhow, so save your pretzel Jenga conversions of trying to get in the car. Think about what you're doing and what your actual use for your car is, this will probably save you some of the headache that you'll do and then realize that you can't really undo. Another thing people do is they mess with the aesthetics on their car just too much. Now, I'm a guy that enjoys a wrapped car, especially when there's a time and place for it better than the next guy. However, some of these wraps are a little tacky and not spending the money to get a quality wrap job by somebody that's qualified to wrap your car or spending the money to get the vinyl that's actually very good quality will certainly mess with the way that vinyl holds up over the lifetime of the car or the lifetime that you plan to have the wrap on the car. These are things you want to explore. Putting decals all over your car, uh, putting badges that don't belong on there. Now, 
It is cute sometimes to see a Nismo badge on a Honda, but it's not as fun as seeing the Nismo badge on a Nismo Edition GTR. So you gotta think about what you're putting in your car and how it might appear to others. Look, I would say this, if if you don't feel like it's a natural fit, if you're really excited to get the, you know, AutoZone stick-on louver because it's gonna, you know, pimp your ride, you know, maybe ask uh, like a focus pool first. Like, is this, a, is this a good idea? Will this make my car look cool? And if you get a responding, uh, an overall response of yes, uh, run with it, and if you get some looks like you might have, uh, you know, done something wrong, back up. It's definitely a no for me, dog. So don't think that we were gonna go through this whole list without talking about wheels. Some of the biggest regrets that you'll have are putting wheels that are just too heavy or too big for your car. One, obviously, is gonna be the ride quality. When you put something on really big and go to a small tire, you're gonna always have that effect where the ride just doesn't feel as good. Yes, it will feel sportier, maybe on a uh, smooth road surface, but that doesn't seem to exist anymore in the United States. With that said, think about the wheels that you're putting on your car. They're gonna affect the ride quality. You still wanna be able to carry passengers, right? If you do. Uh, if you are gonna be riding that car every day, you're gonna to wanna to not be able to feel like your teeth are gonna chatter out of your head. These are all things, think about that. Now let's talk about the weight of the wheel. The overall weight of the wheel, putting on a heavy wheel is going to really feel in the gas pedal. You're going to feel that lag. You're gonna feel the rotating mass that you now have to turn that was different from what you had to turn before. Keep in mind that if your car came with 15s, maybe jumping to a 19 inch wheel might be a little bit out of place. Uh, keep in mind that if you're going to be getting a wheel and your stock wheel package weighs this much and you can go under that, you're gonna feel a little bit more pepping your step. But if you go the other way, you'll feel a little bit more dumping your truck, you know what I mean? So anyhow, be careful with that stuff. Uh, just listen, these are all just things we're sharing with you, so maybe you can give them another thought, another glance before you do them. And a shameless plug, if you're looking for something lightweight, check out our Flowform line. We have plenty of them in there, plenty of different sizes. You can accessorize with pride. So if you have any other thoughts that you wanna share with some other people that are modifying cars, maybe things that you wish you didn't do to your car, put them down below. We wanna hear from you, we wanna hear them. That's it for this one, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.